I'm going to look to own more. Well, here's that. A chance, oh, maybe Morris. Here. Goes on to Enigma in the back. Puck also going to follow it up. Meanwhile, Connell's dying to the Night Stalker. Nothing much you can do oh, against that. Get Gerald Cotter on the cliff. The flat cannon attacks, but... Loading into what's game number one of this best out of three elimination time for these two teams. We'll see what happens. So smoke play early on both teams, all five smoke and heading right down the mid lane. So might uh, meet up of some sort here in the mid lane, but probably just going to get the vision down and go from there. Well, you've got Night Stalker, so he will be checking everything out. Looks like nothing was planted just yet. But yeah, it's just like the, the small type of things you want to do when you have Slark, when you have Night Stalker. I think it's also just a great habit. Like the game doesn't start when it creeps spawn. The game starts when you load into the game. So yeah. just need to be aware. Where do we go? What do we do? Level one smoke, level one wards. And then it looks like both teams are ready. They certainly are. Jokom included on the Bat Rider. He's wrapping around in the dire jungle, but no one to be found. He'll start flapping his wings and flying back and figure out maybe protect that top rune you do see the watcher in mm -hmm. their control as being pointed out there by our great observer of course with uh, also showing us the ward that they have in the top river it's a ward we have started to see a little bit more in this little high ground uh, so, okay bounty rune fight what do we got two for two trade Eh, oh, DB. I was going to say, oh, it's going to be three, a three for, one. for one. Yeah, Night Stalker getting in there and yeah. not, as, not have as favorable of a lane on paper. So any help he can get such as that, certainly mm -hmm. uh, to his benefit there. So good yeah. assistant, being a good support. And, uh, you know, Bad Rider already coming to lane with like a third of the XP to level two. Certainly will help as well. And yeah, mid, I would say over the next couple levels, I guess Invoker will just win it in terms of right click. But early on, should be a pretty even lane. Yeah. See right off the bat, we see a lot of these invokers, especially uh, with the way he plays right now, just spamming that EMP. The damage from Gyro and Tree is like, it's not enough to ever bully you out. You have high region, Esgod, Malefist, see you later. Yeah, as soon as that Malefist connected, he knew that was the end of him. The level, level Night Stalker's in the game. Yeah, it's night time for DB, who already has a... It's been having a very good early game, Top double bracer. Oh, Varish is here with the Enigma. Oh, Mercury, though. He's turning. He's turning. Gonna get the turn kill. Yes, he gets the turn kill at least, but he falls in the end. I mean, hey, at least he took somebody with him first, so making the best of that situation. But Tree and Protector also gonna be ran down. But as we're saying, you hit five minutes, the nighttime kicks in, and... Oh, no, yeah, Gyrocopter, he's, he's scouting out. He is going to find Enigma, but this Enigma, by the way, is even higher level than the Chow right now, who's still level three, and he's going to remain level three for the time being because he's found. They just run him down, and you were talking about Trium busy helping out mid. It's late in presence yeah. ever. I mean, this Gyrocopter is yeah. hugging his tier two tower right now. That's how scared he still is. Bottom oh, lane, Candeloon. Mars is also pretty scared, and for good reason. He's going to be run down. The link, look at it. <laughs> the blocks from Enigma well played as a team. All three cores on the radiant side are having a fairly oh, there good advantage. And yeah, Invoker, we haven't really seen him do too much yet. And well, he's going to be involved with the kill on Puck. And thanks to the assistance of Night Stalker and Bowery, you mentioned movement coming into play. And we're not done just yet. Bloody Grenade going to be used. This Trent, though, he's certainly dead. Oh, oh. Frendos. Oh, as God, can you walk it off? Nope, you cannot. No. More urn charges, thank you very much, says Invoker. Triple kill for DB, and he'll go back to the top lane. I'm gonna have to work on the Sunstrike timings, my friend. Yeah. You need to kill steal. that's how the spell works. That, that level that's one X-Sword, I mean, makes it a little more yeah. difficult, but... Bat oh, Rider? Bad Rider? He's dead, all right. They get something. Oh no, oh no, Treant's gonna die though? No, he'll be nah. fine, but... See so, him, you know? Just link up, pop your Mask of Madness, keep farming faster, as they're setting up pressure on the bottom lane, it looks like. Black hole. <laughs> more than just pressure. That's a full on black hole being used right there. And well, that's more pressure too from TB. It's nice that we're still dead. in the first mm. nighttime game. We'll take a second if we got the pregame. But anyway, you get the point. 7 0 oh, 1. Yeah, hold. Might minutes. be more. Up to call down. Uh, now going to be another one. That's nine kills and totally oh. he's going to be involved in. Maybe. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was actually close. 
No, he'll be missile, he'll be fine. Spark of Courage, you got all the armor you need against a tier 2 tower. Yeah. So, finally gets level 6. It's him and the Batrider going at it. Two supports in the mid lane. But Invoker ended up twin getting to the top lane, and this is why. He's going to find Jowicopter. TPs are coming in, but with Razor also nearby. Oh, Tornado just missing. If that hits, I think that might be a kill, but avoids it. As they're trying to do anxious, but he's got protection as Jowercopter. The supports are both here, including Trent. He is going to take some stuns. There's the Dark Ascension, though. That's for sure a dead Trent. The Sunstrike not even yep. necessary. Godlike. God. Yeah, 9 0 1 here on the Night Stalker. That's pretty insane, and it might even be more. As Escod is also going to fall, so it indeed is more. Make it 10 0 1 for DB. He's just padding those stats now. I'm thinking about that mid lane maybe, but for now, farming the jungle a bit more. You mentioned the blinky ass of the Echo Saber though, so, I mean, you got Vision is currently sitting in their base, at least multiple heroes. Trance protecting the Dark Hopper top, and he's not really protecting him as Night Stalker just runs right in on top of the Dark Hopper. I guess Trance does throw down the Nature's Grasp at least and puts the armor up, so, so I'm certainly still doing the support things. Well, they need to be a bit careful. I think the smoke was spotted. Yeah, that's a shield rune invoker for now. Oh, no, yeah, you're not going to kill that invoker. I hear the black hole as well. Yep, catch us two. Mars included. Thank One, you, two, three. three. Let's make it a third. Four. <laughs> Why not four? Yep, the bat rider lasso catches Puck as well. And DB 13 0 and 1 now. Uh, that was the right way. That was the right Move time to pause. Here. Okay, uh -huh. you. Good job. He lived. I get. He gives a. You know. I pat him on the shoulder. This no, guy gets a kick in the ass because he <laughs> died. Jowercopter is uh, not gonna live though, and not happy with that. Keeper the light. So oh, oh, no, off almost the mark. The Malphus coming out just a second late there. Oh, here comes the void. Still Ooh. gonna kill him. Trans trying to TP away. This is just. It, it already feels like we're in that that space of. But other than that, it is all on AG. Like, yeah. this entire map is there. Stay on, like, 90% of it. Yeah, I'm gonna look to own more. Well, here's that a chance, oh, maybe, Mars. Goes on Enigma in the back. Puck also gonna follow it up. Meanwhile, Connell's dying to the Night Stalker. Nothing much you can do oh, against that. Jarrow caught from the cliff. The Flat Cannon attacks, but all it could do was just auto-attack. And, well, not much. The Static Link was up, too, so... Jarrock after also dead and hey, they got Enigma, but that's the support Enigma and everyone else unfortunately falls, including oh. Candy Loon who's Candy Loon. Also go down, there you go. Oh, they get okay. they're trying it. Mars says they let's just try something, but oh, yeah. Roshan. There's gonna be the Aegis for this Radiant Squad. The Dire scans it, but okay, now what? Just like a uh, when they see it turn red, that just means they, they just know this Aegis is coming for sure now. Uh, do they want to smoke? I, they're, they're going together. Maybe they want to smoke. This could be it, Breaky. But they're too late. Yeah, I was going to say, by the time they smoke and actually start running down here, it actually could backfire if they're not careful. So, Oh, they're still kind of headed in this direction. But, of course, now the Aegis comes out and Rays are the one to pick it up. But they, uh, this they, is uh, maybe sneaky this here. Is, need to delay 20 minutes to get a rapier on Gyro. That's the the, on, the the way to come back. It's been the divine rapier qualifiers. <laughs> there actually has been a good amount of divine rapier pickups throughout uh, these qualifiers. You were even mentioning one yesterday in the Western European region. I mean, we saw several in South America. We saw one yesterday, I want to say, in Southeast Asia. So, hey, hey potential for another one, perhaps. But that's that's. Boots of Travel on your Invoker, keeps alacrity Should be a free tier 2 tower, as most of the things they will look to claim will be theirs. Yeah, outside of going into the actual base, it really doesn't seem like Vision should be trying to put up much of a fight. Simply understand that the tier 2 towers are a lost cause. They, they're delaying it. Of course, they do have Treant especially, but... In the end, and it's still going to be too much damage as expected. Invoker was up at the front lines. Who did the catch over here? That would be Coddle, who got caught trying to check out a little too closely to the sun. So he's out for 30 seconds. The Torments are going to be picked off as well. They still have three minutes on the Sages as well. 
There's oh, the dark Morris. ascension, and that means Mars is likely, well, he's definitely in trouble. Sunstrike going to come out, going to miss yeah. it. Get some dodge and TP supports in there as well, but Razor now cuts them Manta. off. Korean. He's dead. Manta to get out of the overgrowth. And this is the last tier two tower. It's going to be destroyed. Jowacopter, that's actually Puck up here, excuse me. He's <laughs> farming up the jungle. He's got a blink to go with that Witch Blade, so. Solid opening fill, but Invoker's going to find him. Mm -hmm. Okay, blink is ready. Should be okay. Oh, checking up there. So Puck makes it out, but it was really just Invoker that was trying to run him down. So it's back to day, but only for 30 more seconds, because well, 30 more seconds, we're going to go right back to nighttime. Night Stalker will be happy again. Yeah, you don't get any time to breathe on this map. But what I like with the new... Oh, that's... Uh, okay. GG has been called by the looks of it. I think uh, the Puck wasn't allowed to run down top lane. They were like, maybe <laughs> that's the final straw. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, you know, definitely a case of uh, just...